Hey everyone, Jason again, back on our video tutorial. In this video tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how to take old, outdated videotapes, such as the mini DV tape you see in front of you, and convert it to a digital format using a capture card and a mini DV camera. Okay, uh, so you need a couple things for this for this project. You're going to, of course, need a mini DV tape, as you see in front of me. Um, you get you can still get these online if you have these. This is definitely what, you, what you're going to need to round up. This particular tape is about an hour long in uh, in time as far as footage goes, but these tapes can't hold about two hours, so it may vary, of course. The next thing you want you to need is a camera of some sort, either a camera or a deck. Of course, your camera is probably the best thing, the best you know household thing you're gonna have the decks can the decks and the camera can be somewhat expensive but you can get a camera like this for about maybe a hundred dollars or so now um, on eBay they're, they're they're quite pricey but this this particular camera is very nice to have not only to shoot and still use nowadays but to um, to transfer these old tapes from into a digital format. This particular camera is a Canon ZR500, um, borrowed from a former client, and the um, and in, in the box with the camera comes, of course, the charger, which is plugged in, as you see in the bottom. There's your jack right there for the charger. Comes with the battery, obviously, and it comes with an AV cable. You're gonna need an AV AV cable for a project like this. Um, this this camera, like I said, came with a special AV cable. It um, this is a single male, I believe, um, AV cable. You just plug it in directly to the camera itself with with the with the slots on the side. This this um, yellow slot here is the AV. This one is the mic, which I which you can use. But uh, when you just plug the yellow in, it it pulls the audio as well. And there's also a third one here, which is the DV, which I do not have that cable, but is a great resource to have. Okay, uh, next thing you need for this project, let me get the camera out of the way for a minute, is this capture device. It is a Dazzle capture device. I've used this in a couple videos already. It's a great device. This is the Dazzle DC100 capture device. Um, as you can see, my AV cables on the other end are plugged in yellow to yellow, white to white, and red to red. And the Dazzle is then connected to my um, computer, as you see right all the way over there. And via via a, um, USB, and there is software that comes with the Dazzle. I will talk about that in a little while. Okay, uh, First and foremost, what you want to do is for this project, as we get started, is you want to have everything set up. You want to have a big, big setup like I do. Um, you have your camera first. So this is what I'll be showing you. We're showing you how to put the tape in. So um, what I like to do when I put a tape in is I like to set the camera on its side um, with with the preview screen um, facing down. Same way, so I'm able to easily lift up the latch, which is on the bottom. With then that releases the deck. If I were to um, hit the open eject lever right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, once I do that, and one, even if your camera's not on, once you lift up that lever and open up that compartment, the camera will automatically turn on. You see your deck pops out. If your camera is, of course, in working order and is fine, um, you're going to want to put your tape right in like so. Kind of push it in. Make sure it's in on the way. Um, and, of course, the 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 top of the or the the face of the camera or face of the tape rather which may have a label on it like mine does goes on the goes facing um the top of the deck so right here of course it's kind of kind of uh you know common sense but i'll just point that out so when once you have the tape firmly in and securely in you want to then use your use your fingers just pinch down you want to give it a minute Make sure, make sure the deck, make sure the lid of the deck is up. Just pinch down. By doing so, if your camera again in working order, it should um, recognize it and and pull it back in for you, process it for you, and take your lid down, push it down, it's closed securely. You can then take take your camera. If it's not already on for whatever reason, use your switch, your uh, your your control switch here from off to play so mine is mine is off right there so i'm gonna go ahead and hit play 
to show you guys. Okay, once that's done, then you tape this in. Um, if your camera's in working order, it should have been processed already. It works perfectly fine. Now you want to use your preview screen. So go ahead and do this. And on this particular camera, I like to tilt it up so I can see a little bit. I'm going to start to zoom in just a tad. On this particular camera, what I like about it is the fact that the controls are just very simple. You've got your time stamp, which is right there, of course, that it doesn't show up on the video, but you can you can, you can just preview it and be able to see, okay, I want this and want this and don't want this, do whatever you want. And it's also got your, got your controls right there in the corner. Um, what I like, obviously, when you... Um, when you first put a tape in, you want to make sure it's rewound all the way. So go ahead and just scroll down and hit the stop, and then make sure it's rewound. Mine is. Okay, so it's fine. Now, what I want to do now is make sure. There we go. Okay. Then what I, what I want to do now is, of course, then plug in my um, AV cable as I see that it was unplugged. So go ahead and do this. Of course, there's a ye yellow, and just plug it in the yellow. Make sure the little latches out of the way. Okay, there you go. You're good there. Okay, and that's basically it for how to set up the um, capturing unit and how to how to get this ball rolling. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'll, I'll show you the connection, but then I'm going to switch and go onto my computer and show you guys how to use the Pinnacle software. Okay, so let me zoom out really quickly, get my camera back up. Here is how my setup looks. If any of you are wondering, I've got my camera plugged in to my charger because I don't want it to die. It's about a 45 minute tape for to be certain. Um, I've got my AV, AV cable here plugged into the side of my camera. Okay, and then the, the other end of the AV cable, the red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, is plugged into my Dazzle. And the Dazzle is then plugged in via USB to the computer, and there is software on the computer called the Pinnacle Studio 14, in which um, you can download, and I'll put a link below once I upload the video, um, to capture the video, to capture your footage off your camera. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch over to, to my computer, and I'll show you guys how to use it. So uh, sit tight guys, be right back.